Hello everyone, my name is Wolfman Mozzie and welcome to Inscription. I don't know why I haven't played this game prior to this, because it's been out for a while. I think it came out last October? Um, might be wrong about that, but it's been a while. And I've seen some gameplay on this, and it looks like it's a game that'd be right up my alley. It's a roguelike card game with a very creepy vibe to it. It's hard to describe. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump on in, and I'll show you instead. First though, if you are new here, hi, welcome, hello. If you do enjoy the content and you like support the channel, go ahead and click on the like button, perhaps subscribing, leave a comment down below. I appreciate all of it. You're beautiful for doing so and have a wonderful day, but let's go ahead and jump into inscription. The art style is also really cool because you've got like this old school pixelated style but a lot of the other graphics aren't, but they mix really well together. You know what, let's just jump in and I'll, I'll show you. Those crazy eyes. Another challenger has been ages. Perhaps I also like the like wall for to symbolize him talking and it just gives it kind of an extra creepy feel. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the scroll card. So here, here are our cards. They're all are animal themed or bug themed. But there's a lot of really cool mechanics. I have played the tutorial, so we're just going to blast through this and I'll explain along the way. Yep, go back to the hand. So this, let me back up a second here. That blood symbol there means it requires a sacrifice to play this card. The wolf, these two wolf cards having two tears. Well, not tears, they're blood drops, but uh, two blood requires two animals to be sacrificed. So we're going to sacrifice the squirrel and we'll summon our stoat telling us to go ahead and go back wolf requires two summons yep don't have enough ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat and it, it yep the uh, attack power and its health when you end the turn your animals attack as you deal damage directly to this thing um it puts a point on the scale i think it's five points one two three four five five points of damage to win five points of damage to lose. See, it goes all the way down and you win. My turn. He plays a coyote. Now when he plays a card, ends his turn, it'll attack automatically and they're in lanes. So it, if the stout was over here, it would just go straight through to us. He dealt two damage to the health. So now our stout is on one HP. Now, at the beginning of the turn, you can either choose to draw a squirrel or you can draw one of your cards. I'm going to draw a squirrel so I can play a second creature to summon my wolf. Sacrifice two. Fear not, the beast's sacrifice is not removed from your deck. And then we'll place it here. End turn. And the wolf will attack and the coyote's dead. And he passes his turn to kind of give a learning experience. Now I think, yeah, River Snapper. Okay. And then I'll just uh, ring again. Now I'll draw a squirrel. Ring again. Boom. Three damage. We overkill him, so we get some extra. But that doesn't really come into play yet. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the woods. A single path revealed itself. A single path revealed its, its... You just said that. Oops. Right. So that's the path. It, it's a tutorial, so we only have the one choices, but there's branching paths that you can choose from. A caustic ad, adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. 
and I choose one card to add to my deck. I'm gonna choose the cat. I really like the cat. I, if you can't tell, I have played this tutorial before. I think I already said that earlier. If I have cut that out, another creature joins your cat, your caravan. Caravan. All right, now we choose our next. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. Found a squirrel in a bottle, breaking in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Okay. Three is as much as you can carry. So it's the game just trying to show you that you can only carry three consumable items, I guess would be the best thing to call them. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Yeah, so we've got some... You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. Yeah, there's talking cards, by the way. <laughs> you may now see my moves ahead of time. Yeah, so... It'll show you what he's gonna play. This is a wolf cub. That symbol right there, a uh, card, it uh, means fledgling, a uh, card bearing the sigil will grow into a, pow a more powerful form after one turn. He turns into a wolf. All right, so let's go ahead and play the squirrel. We can play the cat. And then we're going to play the, st the stoat. Uh, need I remind you? I don't know. I don't know that. Don't know what he was trying to remind me, but okay. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Because there's no, bo there's a boulder there. I can't do anything about it, so. Too bad, so sad. I'm gonna leave it. Now the bat's flying. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. That's what that symbol is below there. We can attack it though. My bat flew right over your stoat. Um, I'm gonna choose the squirrel so we can put it there. I'm actually gonna pass the turn because the wolf will attack the boulder, break it, and next turn I can sacrifice these two, summon a wolf and kill it. Our stoat will kill that bat because he can attack it. This, the flyer just attacks over the stoat. Uh, let's grab one of these cards. And the cat's undying, so it just keeps coming back. Infinitely. Pick up a squirrel. And then we will sacrifice the squirrel and the cat. Put you there, and my turn. Well, it should be game. Yeah. Game. You prevailed. And a trek onwards past the now bloodied terrain. Grab some new cards. Well, a new card. Uh, the same card. The wolf cub. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Hmm. We'll go with the sparrow, I guess. Why not? Now, this is an interesting. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be la lost forever. Um. Let's choose. Hmm. So essentially what's happening is we sacrifice one of these creatures to take their power and we're going to put it onto another creature. Um, the Undying is kind of nice. So let's give it to the Stoat. Undying Stoat. Ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the cat now lives in the Stoat. I don't remember what this symbol is. Oh, okay. Behold my totem. 
It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Sigil. Enough. And watch it. Watch me suffer. Okay. So let's go. Let's go. Squirrel. Stoat. Sparrow. Now these two being flyers, I don't know if it's gonna be blocked. Let's find out. Yeah, my totem is granted the coyote the power of flight. Yep. It's flying. Oh no, they, they didn't actually block. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab another one of these cards because I can. Uh, I'm actually I'm just gonna go with it. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna grab a squirrel. Pop him here. Pop down the wolf. And swing. Three damage away from winning. Yeah, I'm gonna grab another squirrel so I can put him here. And my turn. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm not really gonna be able to summon anyone. Well, I guess I can do this. Put him there because more damage. Boom. It's a win! Let's go! Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Those crazy ass. Now we can just choose one more card. Sparrow. I don't know what this this thing is. A raven. A cunning raven. A blight upon the skies. So it's just a flyer. Okay. A skunk. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. It's a better flyer than the sparrow. Let's go with the raven. And that's the same as the totem, the one that took the power from one card and added it to another. Or we could go to the bonfire. Let's go to the bonfire. We haven't seen that yet. came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Let's increase the stoats power. The fire warmed the poor stoat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left. That was creepy. See what I mean by the creepy creepiness? Creepy atmosphere. Do a great job with it. Uh sparrow and a grizzly. Ooh, that grizzly looks nasty. Um. Hmm. Let's do this. Actually, you know what? I think now's the time to use the wait. Four. You'll survive. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go with another squirrel. Place you. Whoops. Boom. Hmm. Yeah, go for it. I don't know if we're meant to win this fight. 
because this one looks pretty rough. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds, I think is what it said. Squirrel. This spot, you sure? Well, I mean, I can't really do much else, my dude. Oh, so I guess the Undying card is only if it gets sacrificed. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I don't think we're meant to win that fight. I am very dead. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to m mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Okay. Oh. That's not creepy. Pretty much all this is is creepy. Oh, okay. Can move all these knobs. Hmm. I don't know what that does. It, yeah, so there is like some. Did something just move there? I think it did. There's a little bit of a puzzle element to this. As well. Um, I don't know what to do with any of this stuff, so I'm just gonna go to the candlestick. Bring it here. Coming back, don't you worry. I'll sit back down. Okay. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Right, oh. Um, well, I don't, I only have the one item, so let's go ahead and go to the left, to that uh, backpack or satchel. Porcupine. The ornery porcupine shape Sharp quills awaits those who dare attack it. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Hmm, okay. Infinite cat again. The monstrous grizzly is form speaks enough for its efficiency. Yeah. Sure, let's go with the grizzly. Let's get someone beefy, tanky. A black goat. Its bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Oh, so if it's sacrificed, it counts as three blood instead of one. Interesting. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. And a squirrel in a bottle. Let's go with the black goat. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with this. Yeah, sure, let's go with the scissors. Feeling overburdened enough with a full three items you carry on. Carried on. All right. Now we meet our first boss. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance you could hear the clanging of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Eeyaw! Twas the prospector. Oh, what is he playing? Coyote and the pack mule, okay. So, this is as far as I got in the demo. And I know, because the stoat card said to focus on the pack. Um, I can't really do that, so I'm going to do that. And that. 
Uh, if we get the grizzly, I'll use the black coat. I'm not gonna use it yet. Now, that symbol... I'll, uh, yeah, I'll choose a card real quick. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sig sigil will move in the descript in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So it's gonna move left. Um... Can I just use the scissors to cut it up? It's too thick. Okay. Um... This is gonna be kind of a bad turn, but... I need to get a squirrel. So I can do this. So it didn't move because there was a creature here it couldn't move. So I'm gonna destroy him. Uh <laughs> Prospector again, easy boss. The mule's the key. Yeah, see. It's the mule is the key. So if I do the black goat. Oh, I have to sacrifice someone to do it. Oh. Actually, that's fine. Because I'll do that. I'll do that. Oh, it doesn't bank the extra blood. Okay. That makes sense. Let's grab a squirrel. And I'll do that. Because the uh, stoat has the infinite sigil. I think it's what it's called. Infinite sigil? What is it actually called? Many lives. Okay. Um. Grab another squirrel. That's fine. Attack. Cool. Got tons of cards. Nag, nabbit, my mule. Hmm. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, right, I need to draw a card, duh. Let's go with the cat. Sacrifice you. A squirrel. Um, let's do... The raven's not bad. Actually, no, let's do this. That way we can... Oh, the mole actually, I think, goes underneath. Empty space would be struck. A card bearing the sigil. We'll move to a space to receive the strike instead. Huh, okay. Uh, yeah, and my turn. Interesting. Um... I don't really think it matters. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack. Cool. I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. There's gold in them cards. No, down my cards. Gold, I've struck gold. And so I just have these cards left. Bloodhound, guardian. Opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil. We'll move to that empty space. Ew. I think I'm just gonna cut that card up. Swing. Bye card. Um, let's go here. And we'll summon a porcupine. I can't really summon anything else. I gotta wait for that snake to or adder to come on. Um, okay, then I will do. Uh, mm, I'll just put a squirrel there. I'm just gonna block him. I'm gonna peck at him. I really want this spot. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. Just picked at him until he's gone. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Cool. First time I, I did that, I did not beat the prospector. 
You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. Oh, cool. As a reward, you are granted the opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Oh. What is that thing? This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Oh, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Huh, okay. Gek. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Okay. Child 13? Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have a heart to try? Is it the same as a black cat then? Or a cat? I can't remember called a black cat or a cat. Huh. I mean... I guess I'll go with this guy? Because he's super beefy. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ear, you carried on words. Carry on my... Hmm. Oh. The rank smell of rotten mold permeate, permeated the humid air. Or like in a jungle? Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Alrighty, well that was a brief look at Inscription. This game is definitely up my alley. I'm very much looking forward to sinking my teeth deeper into the gameplay because it looks... It looks simple on the face of it, but I feel like it's gonna get complicated. Already, it's got some pretty, um, some pretty cool synergies with the cards and everything, and I'm very curious of some of those puzzles, so. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. You have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode.